Hello friends, welcome in today's session. Today is 26 November 2021 and this is a buy nothing day. So welcome in this session. And today we will be discussing what is buy nothing day, what is its relation with Thanksgiving, why behind it, the ideologies and different events that happen on this buy nothing day. Okay, so before moving forward, let me ask you your opinion on this one statement. It is excessive buying is same as being in slavery. What do you think? Do you agree with it or not? And if you agree, please make sure that you uh, think about what are the reasons that you think you agree with it or you disagree with it. Okay. At the end of the session, we will discuss about it. The average North American consumes five times more than a Mexican, 10 times more than a Chinese person, and 30 times more than a person from India. Uh. We are the most voracious consumers in the world. A world that could die because of the way we North Americans live. Give it a rest. November 26 is Buy Nothing Day. Great. So let's talk about the Buy Nothing Day. So it's celebrated on the Friday. That is the last Friday of the November month. And before that, the Thanksgiving in the USA and Canada, the Thanksgiving is celebrated on the last Thursday. So this year it was on 25th November. So what is the relation of that? So Thanksgiving is the annual national holiday in the United States and Canada. And that is being celebrated for being uh, thankful for the, all the harvest and all the blessings for the past year, for the previous year. So this is a day to be grateful, to be thankful for all the blessings, all the uh, your family members that you are having, right? It's it's very fulfilling day for all the uh, families in the USA. But the next day, that is the Friday, which is also called as Black Friday. This is the day where people start shopping for the Christmas, right? And this is the day which is also one of the most busiest day in terms of shopping. So a lot of people shop and a lot of discounts are being offered and people just fight for it. People buy things that they don't require as well. Just they buy out of the discounts that are being offered. Right? So what is buy nothing day? We will talk in much more detail. So by nothing day, it is about all about the protest against consumerism. Consumerism talks about buying, buying as much as you can, right? So continuously increasing the people what are buying. So that is what consumerism talks about and why it is so. So consumerism is all about waste of resources. So that's what we need to protest against because people are buying irrespective of their need and these materials, these items are being stored in their cupboards for complete year. They don't need it. They don't use it for years as well also. Next is about the packaging. Use packaging uh, are used and that is again uh, having huge repercussions on the environment and society. And this also promotes the consumerism also promotes the keeping up with genesis. So it talks about people buy things because just neighbor has bought it. So your neighbor bought a car, so you have to buy it. Neighbor bought television, new television, you have to buy it. So keeping up with Jonas's, this is also we need to fight against, right? Next, move ahead and understand why we went buy nothing day. So it is generally what happened. Our sense of happiness and fulfillment doesn't come from shopping. This is the truth, right? But the lie that is being perpetuated by the market that get us spending more money and it's out of boredom, sadness or sheer obligation to buy it, the peer pressure. So we have to fight against it and buy nothing day is all about thinking, all about whether we need it or it's just a want, right? So buy nothing day is celebrated against the idea that you must consume more to be happy. It is not so. but. The more consumption is linked with more happiness. We are all brainwashed for the idea that we must consume more to be more happy. We need to protest against that and that is the buy nothing day. So let's dig deeper into the ideology of buy nothing day and what are the events that happen on this day. So first about 
Why? So buying too much hurts people, culture and planet. So it starts from us as a people. It hurts us as well as the culture, the throwaway culture being uh, promoted by this kind of consumerism. And that's why this day is celebrated. And uh, we are often being limited to the consumers. So we are more than that. We are citizens. Right. So anywhere you go, whether it is television, it is radio or it is any medium. So you will see advertisements. Advertisements are being bombarded of people. People are forced to buy the things. So we should not be a mere consumers. Right. Third, it talks about ethical spending. Many times these kind of very cheap products, these are being sold at the cost to the environment somewhere and also society, people also. So people involved in the production and transportation, whether they are being paid ethically or not, this is the question. And we have to think about that as well. Next, also about sustainable production and consumption. So whether it is sustainable or not, and it is also backbone of the sustainable development goal, SDG 12, so responsible consumption and production. So we need to understand this as well. So what do people do? So people generally don't buy for these 24 hours. So this is the Black Friday, but buy nothing day is also celebrated to uh, protest it. And in that protest, people won't buy anything. They will just protest. They will just uh, sit in, on the road or they will zombie walk in the shopping malls. So what they do is they are showing with their particular walking, their particular behavior that they are against this consumeristic approach. Right. So some people don't buy for complete one day, 24 hours, or some people stretch it forward for complete one month. They will not buy in complete November one. Or even some people are going for one year as well. So buy nothing here. They will not buy for complete one year. So what they don't buy is the uh, things like clothes or the uh, electronic equipment. So that they will not buy. Only they will buy what is necessary for them. Just the food items, right? Food or medicine. Buy nothing project. So this is mobile application, Android application, which you can download from Play Store as well. So where people do not buy on this day, but instead of that, they will share. So whatever they are having in excess, they will donate to the people who require it. So they will put on this app and whoever require it, they can just claim it. So this is a gift economy. So that is also being followed by thousands of people all over the world now, particularly from USA and Canada. Okay. So now let's come back to our original question. So excessive buying is same as being in slavery or not. What do you think? So I agree with it. And my reason being, whenever you buy something in excess, so whether let's say you don't need it, but you buy it. So for buying, you require money, right? And to earn that money, you have to work. And right? so money is directly related to time. You have to work, correct? So you have to, let's say, work for longer hours or you have to take the part-time job, but Ultimately, it is forcing you to work harder and work longer. So that's why I think the excessive buying is same as being in slavery. At the best, we can call it as modern slavery, but still it is slavery. And that's why we need to be mindful about whether we need the thing or it's just a want. It's just a craving that the people are having and that's why I'm buying it. We have to pay the cost in terms of working for longer and harder, right? So. Uh, if you want to dig deeper into this topic, these are some of the resources. You can go through this article from British Council or you can go to the Adbusters. So they are also working. They are having great content on their website, on their YouTube channel. The links are being provided on the description. Please go ahead, read more, share more. I hope this video is helpful for you. So please do like it. Also share it among your friends because the awareness about these topics is really very essential if you want to have the truly sustainable world. So please do share, do comment your views and also if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, so please subscribe, press the bell icon also so that you will get the notifications of next videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.